quick tutorial on how to add EQ to your voice recording in Audacity. Right, it's a pretty simple thing to do and can enhance your voice recordings uh, to make it sound better. Audacity is a free program. You can just download it and start using it right away. I'm going to show you how to add a little bit of EQ to make your voice recording sound better. So let's start from the very beginning. I'm going to launch the program. Just follow me step by step. So there's a lot of different ways to record. So if you're in an open room and you're doing your voice, that might present some different anomalies in your recording. Uh, so this next recording was done in an open room with the Zoom recorder. Now you may have a different way of recording. Maybe you're just using your phone in an open room. Either way, these EQ settings will apply to whatever it is that you're doing and you can mess around with this. By the way, a lot of these EQ settings were used by example from the YouTube channel Master Editor. So I will add his channel link for that specific video because he explains it in great detail. Uh, so I'm just going to show you the basics and uh, you can apply these to your voiceovers or just your regular voice recordings to enhance it. So let's get started. Let's get into it. Okay, let's open up Audacity and I have recorded this example right now. So we're going to go to the file, we're going to hit open. And let's pull in our example, okay. All right, so here is our sample. And let's, let's listen to it first. This is an audio example with the Zoom recorder for Audacity and how to use the EQ tutorial. If you enjoy my video, please subscribe and share the video. Audacity EQ tutorial. Okay, so and that's the original recording right there. Nothing added to it. And what we want to do to begin our EQ effects, go to Effect and go down to EQ and Filters. Now, from here, let's go to Filter Curve EQ. Okay, so I already have a preset, so what you're looking at is I already took the sample and applied it, but let's start from the beginning. So we're gonna flatten this curve, okay? And I know it looks complicated from here, but it's really not that complicated. What you're looking at in the graph is on the left-hand side, all these frequencies are your base. The stuff is in the middle, the middle graph, those are all your mid-range, and then the stuff that's all the way to the very end, these are all your high frequencies. Um, the cool thing about this Audacity program is it comes with presets. So let's look at some presets. Okay, so we have user presets, which I already have mine saved on there. Then we have factory presets. Okay, so the easiest way to do it is let's go to a low roll off for speech. Okay, so that right away you're already getting a curve. Okay. And this curve has these little dots, and you can manipulate those to adjust them however you need. Now, this is all out of trial and error because everybody's voice is different, but male voices and female voices have two distinct frequencies. So this is the male voice, and let's let's apply this and let's listen to it. Okay. This is an audio example with the Zoom recorder for Audacity and how to use the EQ tutorial. If you enjoy my video, please subscribe and share the video. Okay, so you can you can tell there's a difference now. It took out a lot of the bass. Okay, so we knocked out a lot of the bass frequencies, which is nice. Um, the other the other thing that you want to do is you want to get some of those high ends to make your voice a little, little bit clearer, add a little bit of high end. So, so let's boost up the treble. Those are your high ends. Okay, so here's your treble boost. Okay, uh, now going back to Master Edits, recommends that you lower this by 3 dB. So let's do that. Let's go to that point and bring that down. Okay, and then you can preview it. 
right? So if you hit preview, you're going to listen to it. This is an audio example with the Zoom recorder for Audacity. And okay, so you can hear there's a little bit of crispiness going on there. Okay, so the other thing we want to do is we want to get rid of all the highs after the fact, right? So the way you do that is let's open up this linear curve so we can see it better all the way to the right hand side. Let's bring all that down. Okay, so all the way down to around 30. That way you're not getting any of those highs anymore. Okay, and let's go back. Okay, so once you have adjusted all the frequencies, um, if you've been following along, especially with the video that's a better uh, explanation of the frequencies, you can save your presets. So how do you do that? So you're going to go into presets and settings, and you're going to go to save preset. And then from there, you can name it whatever you want to name it so you can remember what it is. I already have one saved, so let's just hit cancel. Um, so you're going to go to your user presets. So this is Master Editing's YouTube channel example EQ, and I'm just going to click on that. And that's exactly what it looks like. Okay, so you can see the bass is lowered. Okay, the mid stays the same. Okay, and here are your high frequencies. And this is highs at the very end that have been lowered down. Okay, so we're going to hit apply. Okay, now let's, let's listen to it real quick. We're going to mute the original. And listen to the one with the uh, preset. This is an audio example with the Zoom recorder for Audacity and how to use the EQ tutorial. If you enjoy. Okay, so that is with the preset applied. Now let's listen to the original. This is an audio example with the Zoom recorder for Audacity and how to use the EQ tutorial. Okay, one more time. Let's mute the original and listen to the, the one with the EQ. This is an audio example with the Zoom recorder for Audacity and how to use the EQ tutorial. If you enjoy my video, please subscribe and share the video. Audacity EQ tutorial. Okay guys, so there you go. That's it. That's how to use EQ and Audacity. Uh, it's a bare bones type of thing. You can use that in any of your recordings. Um, go to Master Editor YouTube channel. He has a deeper explanation. I just wanted to share my examples and my results from using what he suggested. So not as detailed as his, but that's how you can hear the difference and lower the bass tones and the higher frequency made it a lot more crisp, even though it wasn't the best recording. It was in an open room and not a trader room. So I uh, hope you enjoy that one. Thanks for checking out my little tutorial. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.